I can fix it! So, yeah, naturally the guy with the name Fix It Felix is the good guy. He's nice enough as good guys go. Definitely fix his stuff. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch EHG, the studio behind LE drop patch 1.0.7 and fix some bugs and a lot of things that have been driving players crazy. And unfortunately, this update, even though there is a lot of good in it, also had some problems. And we're going to talk about that after we go through the changes. Should be a pretty short video. Changes. When portaling to a team member that's inside of an Echo, you will now be placed in Echo of the World with a green portal to join at the time of your choosing. Now... As you know, if you've played multiplayer a long time, if you've got if you're both in a loading screen or one's in an echo, like for whatever reason, the setting up of a party or coming together can be a huge problem. So I'm hoping that this helps alleviate that. You'll automatically go to the green portal and the green portal portal will take you to the player. Let's hope that that makes a significant difference. When health is a fraction of one, you will now always round up to one instead of rounding off, resulting in health sometimes displaying zero. Oh, so now you'll have one health instead of zero health. That seems silly. Okay, several item tooltips fixed, including fixed a bug where opening slash closing an item tooltip would have a drastic performance cost. Okay, that's, man, that has been asked for a long time. Fix a bug where tooltip text can continue off the edge of the tooltip instead of wrapping. That has been asked for a long time. Fix a bug where some languages with larger text height could be missing information on the tooltip. Fix the bug where prefixes and suffixes had different line spacing on the tooltips. Fix the bug where some enemies were not displaying their top health screen bars. Okay, the tooltip stuff has been asked for a very long time. So this is surprising that this is in here. That is awesome. That is good. Skills, everyone's favorite. Fix a bug where some skills, primarily traversals, traversal skills, would not work after a zone transition until using a different skill. Okay, I haven't seen that. Fix a bug where scorpion enemies couldn't be targeted by spirit plague. Fix a bug where channeled movement skills would break if continued to be channeled after running into a wall. Oh my gosh. We've been playing shield charge on our forge guard, and sometimes you hit a wall and you just keep running into it. Unbelievably annoying. So that's good to see that. Fix a bug where after where every other use of void cleave with the gravity edge node traversal would have its hitbox at the start of the movement. Oh, that's interesting. We are literally working on a new forge guard and we are actually going to take void cleave as traversal. So good. They fixed a bug before we had to deal with it. Fix a bug where skills could stop working after closing a panel until the panel was closed the second time. Fix a bug where the player's character was visible under the surface on a certain location during Using a synchronized strike, lethal mirage. Fix a bug where puncture, stay of execution, detonating arrow, aim shot notes would play the VFX uh, before the character animation on charge. Okay. Multiplayer. Fix an instance of the bug which could break all the party interactions until relogging. Anytime I see anything around multiplayer improvements, matchmaking, loading, break all party. Granted, we have not tested it. It's a win. It's a win. Even when I'm not even streaming Last Epoch, people ask me questions. Hey, sorry to bring up Ellie. Have the dev said anything about multiplayer experience? So it's good to see this, which I I understand why they, the question is asked. Fix a bug where players were unable to port it to other player members, both players inside of the same Echo. I've never had that one. Okay, a couple other things and we're done. Fix a bug where Shade of Orbis Stardust ability would explode upon his death. Fix a bug where the falling rocks during the boss fight in Lightless Arbor could sometimes not display the telegraphing indicator. Fixed the uh, invisible walls during the Elder Gas Spar fight, which brocks projectiles. Fixed a bug where Death's Embrace Grim Harvest could trigger wallet negative mana. Ooh. Oh, people are not going to like that. Stop exploiting bugs. Fix a bug where enemy VFX could stop playing. Slash freeze, fix the bug where enemies could fail to play their death animation. Fix the bug where the B circle button would focus the action bar panel skill bar if it was previously selected. Okay, I don't know what that is. I read some of the comments and uh, it's still every time I read some of these comments, I just don't I just can't believe it. But um, please buff weak builds blade dancer. It's like, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's maybe 1.1. All right. Hopefully some of the things that have been driving you nuts were fixed. Now, when they implemented patch 1.0.7, something happened. Switching over to the website known, the social media known as X. And on here, we are on the official last epoch. You'll see patch 1.0.7 is live. And then you see this. We are aware of issues following the patch results in an LE65 air when attempting to connect or transition zones we're currently investigating. We are currently updating all town servers to the latest internal changes. If you are currently in a town, you may be disconnected. The team is currently working on a potential fix, which will become available as a patch for the net game client. We will provide update in another hour. We are currently testing the potential fix with the QA team. If all goes well, we expect to have this fix available within the next two hours. And we continue. The QA team found the issue within the build, and we are currently creating a new build with the fix. If all goes well, the new build we expect it to become available 1800 CT. The builds are nearly complete, and we will be starting the QA test shortly. We have resolved a client patch 101071, which should resolve this issue. If you're currently seeing the update in C, please completely restart Steam. And check out the dev stream today where we'll be playing dev chat bingo. So, you know, I have a saying. I call it fail fast, right? Don't make excuses, just fix the problem. And one thing that EHG has done very, very well, love them, hate them, they made a mistake, it screwed up the game, is they they are doing a really jo good job at over communicating. So fail fast, communicate the problem, fix the problem, move on. I mean, obviously you don't want the problem to happen in the first pit place, but from a studio and a player base, I think most people would be happy with this. I don't know, at least I am. That's the video. So make sure you restart Steam and actually update 1.0.7.1. Check out Dev Chat Bingo. We'll actually be streaming it in the next, what, three or four hours. I've got new Last Epoch build guides on the way. We've been playing No Rest for the Wicked, new season of Torchlight Infinite, Dwarven Realm Season 22. It's a blast. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm done. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. <laughs>